What is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be going over how we can create a custom web view for our apps in Xcode. So as you can see right here, I inserted a Google page inside my app and we can actually use it like a normal place. And if we click on Code Palace, it's going to search inside the web view for Code Palace. And of course you can edit this frame to look however you like. So this is option number one for using the web view. Otherwise, I will also show you two additional features you can do, and that is open a web view in a new window, such as this. It's going to open it in a new page in Safari. And finally, I'm going to show you also how we can open up a web view as a sheet. So it will pop up from the bottom, and that's probably the cleanest way to use an external web view. But I'll be showing you all three of these methods really, really quickly, because it doesn't really take that much effort. and to get started, we want to go to Xcode and create a new project as always. So shift command plus N to get started. Then we will click on app and click on next. And we're going to call this internet project. And we will be using Swift UI and Swift as the language. Then we will click on next and specify a place to store our project and then click on create. So the first thing we want to do inside here is change my Mac to an iPhone 13 and close this sidebar and the other sidebar and click on resume for the preview. So we can see what we are dealing with. Perfect, so the project compiled, which means we can get started with writing the code immediately. And the first thing we want to do is go here and import WebKit, which will allow us to play with the web elements. Then to get this out of the way, we're going to go ahead and create a state object, which is of private var. And this will tell us whether we are showing the web view which should be set initially to false, and this will be used for the sheet. Then under that, we're going to go ahead and type in private let URL string of type string equal the website of your choice. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and paste in google.com. And we actually have to go ahead and manually create the web view struct. So to do that, we'll just create a struct under the content view struct and this will be called web view. And it's going to inherit from UI view representable. So the first thing we have to insert inside here is a variable of URL, which will be of type URL. And the first thing we need to create is a function that says make UI view. And it's going to have context, context, and it's going to not return some UI view, but it's going to return a WK web view. And we're just going to say, return this web view. So return WK web view with the parentheses. Then we also have to tell the program that it needs to load a URL because we have specified it up here as a variable. So to do this, we will go ahead and type in function update UI view, and it's going to give us all of that placeholder. And inside here, we're going to specify that we want to create a request, which is going to equal URL request and inside here, we need to specify a URL, which will equal the URL we have defined. Then all we have to do is go ahead and type in UI view and load. And we need to insert the request we want to load, which will just be the request, if I can spell it correctly, like that. So this will take care of creating the web view for us. Now let's actually go to the body and insert it. And I want to get started by creating a VStack which is going to give us a spacing of 40. So we have some space between the elements. And the first thing we're going to insert is a web view, which of course will require a URL, which is just going to take a URL, which is going to be the URL string. And we have to guarantee that this is never going to be empty. So I'm going to add the exclamation mark. Of course, you can use also the nil coalescing operator, but I just decided to guarantee that there will always be a link available for this URL. Next, let's go ahead and specify a frame for this element. So I'm gonna type in frame, and all I want to do is provide the height because I want a custom height of 500. And I'm going to provide a corner radius of 10, so we have slightly round corners, followed by a shadow. And we're going to provide dot black, dot opacity, and that's going to be set to 30%. The radius is going to be set to 20 and X and Y are both going to be set to 5. Now let's go ahead and update the preview. So option command plus P and you're going to notice we will have this web view. And if you actually want to see the result of google.com, 
you have to actually turn it into a live preview and you're going to see the website appear immediately. But let's go ahead and turn that off and let's add the other two options. So the second option we had was to create a link with a destination to the URL, which of course just takes one parameter, which is a string of the URL string. And it also takes a label, which is a function. And inside here, we can add a text field, which is going to be open in a new window with a foreground color of dot blue. So it looks like a link. And the program is not happy because I need to force unwrap the URL. So go ahead and add an exclamation mark there. And then it's going to appear at the bottom right here. And right below the link, we're going to go ahead and add a spacer. So everything gets pushed to the top of the screen. So now we have a link and we have a web view. I just want to create one more link and that's going to be for the bottom sheet. So right below link, we're going to go ahead and create a button. And inside the button, we're going to type in show web view and toggle. So that's going to make it true if we click on the button. And we should of course give it some text, otherwise it's hard to understand what this button is. So we will type open in a sheet. And then we can go ahead and type in dot sheet. And inside here, we will type in is presented, which will take a dollar sign and show web view. And inside this sheet, we can go ahead and insert the web view. So web view URL of type URL, which is going to equal a string of URL string, which is not nil. And as you can see, our app is complete. Now, if we go ahead and run this code, we're going to get three different versions of the web view. One is the inbuilt version, which of course will take us to an entirely different app, which is Safari. The second one is the one that we actually have inside the app. We created a frame for, and the third one is a bottom sheet that we can use to display content from the bottom of the screen. But once our app runs, we're going to have a new fresh web view, which will have the terms and conditions of Google. And then we can use whatever we want inside of here. Otherwise we can click on open in a new window and it will take us to Google in a new window of Safari. If we go back, we can also choose to open this in a sheet and it will be inside here so we can use it, create some stuff or give the user some idea of what they want to do. And then we can just easily return to our app by sliding down the sheet. But with that being said, guys, that's actually all I wanted to show you in today's tutorial. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.